Slovis is slow getting up after taking that hit. Oh, no. Matt Fink, the third string quarterback the Trojans now down to, comes in. Like it at all. Another fake and another throw. Fink looking in zone. It is Vons for a touchdown. What a response. 341 yards and four touchdowns in Salt Lake City. As Devontae Henry Cole gets his first touch of the night, and he takes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Utah. Ute show pressure and bring it. It is a jailbreak. Fink able to slip the first man. Lofting to the end zone. Underthrown. Adjustment and a catch. Amon Ross St. Brown. Touchdown, USC. Magic happening for Matt Fink. So they're at the two. Brumfield gets hit in the backfield. The ball comes out. It's still loose. And now USC's got it. Greg Johnson and the Trojans slam the door shut with 16 seconds. Play action, only a three-man rush. Downfield, it's Pittman. He goes up the ladder to get it. He's going to take this one inside the 10, inside the 5, and in. A 78-yard strike and a touchdown for USC. Second and nine, they'll go back to the air. Fink on the roll, they're gonna break contained. Down the field again, this ball's picked off. It is Terrell Burgess. Back inside the 15 on a return of 30 yards. Here comes Dixon. They'll throw to the end zone, touchdown. What a beautiful design, and it's Cole Fotheringham for the score. They work out of the gun. Huntley gets broke down at the seven. Isaiah Polamau, the sophomore from Phoenix, makes it for Brings the Utes within one. Backs him up to second and ten. Huntley looking to throw. Free rusher. That is thrown wildly. Is it backwards? No, they say incomplete. The question was, was it grounding or was it a fumble? It is grounding at a safety with a freshman, Drake Jackson, forcing that play. Do they look to go over the top this time? They do. It's Pittman. He's got it. Inside the 30. It's a 42-yard gain, taking advantage of the one-on-one. -on -one. And so first and goal. They bring their biggest running back, Marquis Step, into the game. Straight ahead. Touchdown, USC. His first career score gives the Trojans a two-score lead. Here in the they were the ones left standing. And they've now won nine in a row against Utah in Los Angeles. Utes still got to go back to 1916 to find their last and only win in Los Angeles against USC. 30 to 23, the Thanks, final. Joe. Clay, you have Matt Fink. There was a time when he was going to go to Illinois, or at least that's the rumor. He comes back a month later, talks about the special band of brothers. What do you say about how this kid stepped up tonight? Well, glory to God in that special band of brothers because they found a way. They are the definition of fight on. And even when you're down to, we talked about all our quarterbacks were good players. And Matt got his opportunity, came in, defense held, held in check, and offensively found a way to rush for just enough yards to end the game. So uh, team victory, great win for our program. When you come back from halftime, you talked about winning the turnover battle. You have the turnover early in the second half. What did you say to him to kind of settle these guys down? Well, really, I felt like at halftime we had made enough self-inflicted errors that we could have been up two, maybe three scores. And if they just cleaned it up, that they were going to go win this football game. Didn't clean it up all the way, but did enough to beat a great Utah football team. This is a team that is arguably the best team on the West Coast, arguably the most physical. You had a lot of guys getting banged up. You were down a couple of defensive backs, played a lot of snaps. What did you learn about this group? Um, they're a special team. I thought that from the beginning. They're a young team, and they're growing each and every day. I mean, they just play big boy ball uh, with a very good Utah football team that this game has usually been the deciding of the South. And, you know, to come out with a with a big win, now that's one. Now we got another one <laughs> next week against a pretty good team. So we'll celebrate tonight and uh, move on for tomorrow.